Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy if you're brand new here and today I wanted to share with you my December favorites. I get quite a few comments asking me about my skincare or what I use on my lips and etc. And I just wanted to say that in the description box below I always always leave the links to the few products that I do use on my face and they don't normally change all that much but actually today I do have something different on my lips these were kindly gifted to me by Emile Gordon so this one is part of their new line called the Miracle Lip Balm and it is a 2-in-1 lip and cheek product today I'm wearing this shade over here which is called um, Chic Chic Boom if you meet me in person or see me on a daily basis, I either have very very minimal makeup or no makeup. And in terms of lips, I use lip balms. They're just the best. Uh, and something like this is actually really really cool because I like having a little bit of cheek color and lip color on me even when I don't wear any makeup. I also have a signature red shade called Charlotte really really pretty I also have a really pretty pink shade of course they also have their untinted but with different fragrances so this one is the Moroccan mint it even comes with a little spatula which I do use to take out the product and smear it on my lips so yeah this is the color that I use and it's really really cute I'll leave the links down below I also have a coupon code for you guys to save 10% so um, if you guys are interested, you can check it out. Here's another beauty product that I cannot stop raving about. I've already featured them in one of my past favorites video, but ever since then, I've been wearing them non-stop pretty much in every single video that you see me in i'm wearing these lashes um i typically go for the double 110 magnetic lashes from ardell they are quite long though i do snip out one magnet it has four magnets on them anyway um on my previous video i showed you guys how i apply it so you guys can take a look at that video if you guys are just wondering how I wear them because there is a learning curve. Basically, a pair will last me a few months. Um, I'm on my second pair now, which I do need to change. You guys can't see it, but one of the magnets did fall out. But I also did buy this one and I was gonna try it and see if um, it would still look good on my eyes. I don't know if you can tell, but they are a lot more uh, fuller as well as more dramatic than the 110. So these ones are the Demi Wispies, the double Demi Wispies. So yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how they'll actually look on my eyes. Hopefully they're still okay. Up next, I have a few lifestyle products, which you might have already heard me mention in the past, but I guess it is the end of year and I just want to kind of recap, I suppose. Um, something that I always have been highly recommending is a bag hanger because I'm sure uh, most of you who do watch my channel are here for the luxury bag videos usually so uh, something that really really works well with all the luxury bags or even non-luxury bags uh, actually it works with groceries, backpacks, traveling um, it's so multi-purpose is this bag hanger and this is no ordinary bag hanger and I'm sorry if you've already heard me talk about it but it's just such a great product I, I, I literally feel like I have to mention it again uh, this is called the Clippa and this is the second generation one, so it's the Clippa 2. Um, it can hold up to 30 pounds of, of things. So it, it can be your groceries, it can be your backpack, it can be your handbag, which is what I use it for. You can hold your coat if you want, especially in bathroom stalls. I like that it opens quite wide and um, that it's very very durable because a lot of times the ones that are just made more cheaply they're very cute and all uh, and they might even have like rhinestones and whatnot but they just break so easily here's another lifestyle favorite it is the uh, fabric steamer so it's great for steaming any of your clothes instead of ironing this one can also do the motion of ironing which is nice like the creases around the sleeves of a, a blazer or uh, it could be like a t-shirt like this it's just so much easier to steam because it's so fast and easy so much faster than setting up your whole iron and the table and everything and plus uh, with uh, this product as well as the turnable they're actually from the same company I was able to um, 
get you guys coupon codes to save extra money for them uh, I think the coupon codes will expire quite soon speaking of which this muscle tea or tank from Balmain um, was definitely one of my favorites this past month um, there's just something about these shirts and the quality and just the fit and just I don't know maybe it is the logo maybe maybe it is just the buttons maybe it's just the whole hype but um, yeah it's just so easy to not think about what you have to wear and just throw on something like this in a cardigan or a jacket on top uh, and tuck it into jeans or anyway you guys saw how I styled my whole Balmain haul if you guys have not um, go check it out I'll also have it linked um, but yeah I did a huge Balmain haul and I don't know for me it was massive because I've never spent so much money on clothing uh, but I, I really was happy about it just because I feel like every single piece is a staple and um, they can be interchanged with my wardrobe a few books that I have read in the past month and really really enjoyed I guess it's considered a self-help book that I um, I, I actually recommend but I guess there's a few things I need to say about it so as you can see on the title it's a little bit vulgar so even the language being used uh, or at least the F word is being used a lot throughout the book and so if you're offended by that then maybe, maybe don't read it but if you can get past that part of the book um, and try to uh, I guess um, absorb the content and the ideas of, behind it then I think this book is actually really uh, eye-opening anyway if you're looking for a good read during this holiday something that is quite different from your um, typical self-help book uh, and or if you just want to have a laugh uh, and or if you just want to have a different perspective at life almost um, and you just you know you're interested in this kind of books like non-fiction books then um, I actually recommend that you take a look at this I, I really had such a good time reading this and I couldn't put it down it was so funny at one point and um, it just goes to show how like you know there's a lot of times in my Q&A when I discuss about the different questions that you guys ask me and a lot of times I tell you guys you know it just depends on how you look at it um, and have a different perspective on things that's that's kind of how this book was to me and that's why I like I like this kind of stuff so this is the second book that I uh, read well I mean there's hardly any reading on this book actually it's mostly illustrations because it is a book from um, Megan Hess but the reason why I really enjoy this book is because it is about uh, Coco Chanel herself it's a very fun read it's a very light read it's a nice coffee table book actually it would make a nice gift it's even in silver here so yeah it's a it's a really really cute book so hardly any reading but I just thought it was a nice cute book and I actually really did enjoy the content anyway but the last book that I want to mention which is a book that I am rereading because this is a book that I've already read more than a decade ago actually um, it's called The Introvert Advantage so this is a book that I've owned a long time ago. I've read it so many, many years ago, but I just decided I wanted to go back and reread it. This book was written in 2000 or published in 2002. So it's a really, really old book, but I still found uh, the material quite useful. And um, again, it, it's a good reminder of understanding different perspectives, especially if you think that you are an introvert. And even if you're an extrovert and I'm sure you know someone in your life who is an introvert and you just want to understand um, how their personality works. By the way, there's a huge misunderstanding of what being an intro introvert or extrovert means. How many of you are actually extroverted if you think that you are or introverted if you think that you are because apparently um, you know this world is filled of extroverted people two-thirds of the people are extroverts and one-third are introverts not only because there are more of the extroverts but also society in general tends to favor uh, extroverted qualities I don't say it all the time in fact I probably don't say it often enough 
but I really appreciate you guys. Without you guys, I wouldn't be, you know, as motivated to do my videos. Um, I appreciate every single comment that you guys leave and interaction that I have with you. It has become such a large part of my life, actually. Um, I guess one of the reasons why I started YouTube is because uh, I guess I needed the interaction. I mean, I um, I guess being an introvert, I you know I like my my self reflection time and I like my uh spending time at home and all that so i do i do a lot of private things but at the same time uh, i long for interaction and i like having the time to reflect before i talk about it so which is great because making videos allows me to do that i can think about what i want to talk about i talk about it i edit it and then i post it which you know is the perfect platform for me. So I thank you all so much for being part of my journey. I love you all so much. That is pretty much it for today. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this video. Um, thank you all so much for um, subscribing as well. And if you're brand new here, I would love to have you back. So uh, I hope that you do subscribe as well. Happy holidays and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye.